Hey guys, we are about to dive into some viral drugstore makeup that has newly come out. This has been getting a lot of good reviews by NYX, the Wet n Wild Concealer. And we have a new putty primer by e.l.f. We have so much stuff we're about to try out. Go ahead and subscribe before you leave and let's go ahead and jump right in. First, we're gonna go in with the C Bright Putty Primer. Miss e.l.f. up in here. I wanna know what they're gonna dupe this year. You know, you know they already are scouring the Charlotte Tilbury website thinking, what are we gonna do next? But their putty primer have really taken off. This one feels a bit different, kind of. It feels more serum-y than the other putty primers. I did like the other putty primers, but this one kind of feels like a thin, cooling serum, and I'm not complaining about that. That feels pretty good to the skin. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub this in and it does feel like it's drying down almost to like that silicone-y feeling if that makes sense So I'm into that. I feel like that's gonna be really nice and smoothing I've kind of put a lot of it on so we're gonna move on to foundation now trying out the product I've been dying to be trying I got mine in the shade soft beige. This is the NYX bear with me blur now almost everything for the bear with me line I have really oh, I think I got my right shade. It's a Christmas miracle, but everything from the bear with me NYX line I have really enjoyed it. it to me is like one of their best makeup lines gonna take my trusty L11 brush you guys be sure to this foundation is about to be too light and I'm gonna be pissed but anyways <laughs> oh looks like concealer look at that oh <gasps> ghostly okay anyways every time I try I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I'm shocked I am shocked by how light soft beige is. That cannot be soft beige. That is ivory. Did anyone else have trouble with the shades? I'm always soft beige. What happened to me? I'm a little shocked. <laughs> Okay, you guys, the foundation, it just blended out like a creamy, delicious dream. I will say light to medium coverage because I'm kind of seeing everything through. I am shocked. First of all, this looks a lot darker in the packaging than what it came out on my face. Second of all, shade six soft beige should not be this light. I'm, what happened? Also, look how dark it looks until I started blending it. It got so light. I don't know if I've ever had a foundation do that to me before, but I'm already disappointed in the shade, so you might wanna go in store and like try to figure out if you can swatch it. I don't even think NYX does that, but this is messed up. Uh, the foundation itself, oh my God, it feels beautiful. Like it seriously feels so beautiful on the skin. Besides the coloring, it looks good. You can see all of my freckling and this little breakout right here, right through it. So I will say it's a lighter coverage foundation, but it definitely gives you like that soft blur effect. It's almost like a soft blur skin tint and it blended out like a dream. It's so pretty. First impression, so pretty. The shade? May God have mercy. I'm gonna take 120 Warm Buff from this new Essence Keep Me Cover Foundation and do the other half of my face. Y'all, I'm a little spooked right now. Okay, this one looks like it's a little warm, but it looks like way closer to like my skin and my neck. Now this is a new one from Essence. This is supposed to be a long lasting transfer. I can't talk. <laughs> long lasting transfer proof and waterproof. Transfer proof, not proofs and a waterproof foundation. So it's pretty much supposed to be kind of the opposite of what I got going on the other side of my face. I do like the next one. I'm definitely gonna go back in and try to figure out my shade because I'm kind of upset about that. I definitely thought I would have had the right shade. I need to let it go. I need to move on with my day. Wow, that did blend out really pretty as well. Look at that. You definitely get actually a shocking amount of coverage. This is called Keep Me Covered Foundation. Hence, you know, this is more of a full coverage, long lasting foundation. But overall, it is blending out nicely and it doesn't look like I'm able to completely and totally build it up. Okay, as you can see, this is a bit light for me and then this one is a little more closer to my skin tone. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the side off and I wanted to wear this one. I'm so bummed, but I will say my first impressions like, it's a lightweight foundation, very lightweight. It almost feels like powder on your skin, if that makes sense. Once you get the blurred, blend it out, it feels like almost like a powder is on your skin. It doesn't feel wet at all, it like dries down. Light coverage, 
smoothing tint. I like it. I think it's nice, especially for like a hot summer day or if you have oily skin, because it almost turns into like a matte powder. It's not really dewy. Oh, it says medium coverage with a matte blur finish. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting this matte powder-like finish. It's so interesting. But can you see over here? Look at the shine. So the shine is pretty. It's like a little loomy over here with the heart or with the essence. I almost called it hard candy. But this one over here, you're not getting nearly as much shine. It's more matte. So these are like opposite foundations. I like both. I don't know how this one's gonna wear. I am hesitant if it would make me shiny after a long wear, but you know what? I like both. I think they look good first impressions for what they are. I'm gonna have to get a different shade. Okay, let me wipe this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and applied the essence all over my face and I think it looks really good. So let's go ahead and move on to the next product, which are concealer. This is the Incognito Concealer. It is an all day full coverage concealer from Wet n Wild. Super affordable. I actually picked this one up on Amazon, but of course they sell it at Ulta and everywhere else. I bought the shade Medium Honey and Light Beige. The Light Beige looks super, super, super light. So I'm gonna try out the Medium Honey. It comes on this doe foot applicator, which I like. Okay, this one may be actually, I might have to mix them because this one's like actually the color of like my foundation, which I don't mind. We're gonna add a little bit of this one in so we can get some brightening effect going. I'm gonna take my L34 brush, which is a round kabuki. It's a little bit smaller than the L11 and it's good for blending out any cream product. You guys be sure and check out our brush collection on Larly Los Angeles. Okay, this concealer, it's very nice. Is it full coverage? No, it's definitely a medium coverage. I'm putting on a second layer here to really cover that darkness. It does cover wear. Well, I think you have to build up. It's definitely not like a dab and go type of concealer where you're able to just kind of like put down, you know, a dot of concealer and blend out and you get coverage for days. It's not like that. It's a super, super liquidy formula. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? It actually reminds me of the NYX HD a little bit. A really pretty concealer, not like the craziest, fullest coverage ever but a nice concealer that you can build up. So it is blending out nicely. It's super liquidy and you know, it's got that buildable coverage. So I can respect that. So far, so good. By the way, it is storming. We are in a monsoon outside right now. So I'm just like, la la la, do my makeup. Next, I got the Wonder Stick from NYX. One, one side's contour. The other side is for highlighting. And I wanna try this bad boy out. Ooh, creamy, creamy. I love when I wear my hair like this because I get like half a contour because you can't even see my forehead over here. Going in with my L34 brush. This is a little bit of a thicker product, which may be a sponge. I don't know. You might need a brush for this because it's such a thick product. And then it blends out. I don't want to say it blends out into nothing, but it does sheer out nicely. And it's not honestly that pigmented, but you know what? It's like a very soft contour, if you will. It's like a softer moment. I'm gonna blend this with my hand. Sometimes your hands are the best tools. Actually, you know what? It's like it keeps more coverage whenever you blend it with your hands or more pigment. I don't know, maybe not. You know what? That did give me a nice little contour right there. All right, I'm gonna let it double up because I do feel like it kind of blended out a little bit too much. I gotta say that was pretty nice. It does take like a lot of product, but it's still like, it blends nicely, it works well. So, so far so good. Also, I like that color. I got the shade medium. Next up from NYX, we're gonna try out their Sweet Cheeks. This is a soft cheek tint. It says it's a mousse blush in the shade Baby Doll. Ah! Okay, let's see if I put on too much using that same brush. Ooh, this is like a nice like whipped formula. It almost feels like I'm putting the soft matte whipped lip creams on my face. Oh my God, very pigmented. Did I put on too much? Maybe. <laughs> That is so pretty. I actually love this color too. My favorite products I've tried so far are the Essence Foundation and this blush. This blush is gorgeous. Wow. Sweet Cheeks by NYX. It's the winner, baby. Okay, next I'm gonna take the highlighting in and I'm just gonna highlight. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa, you guys. Whoa, that is so pretty. I think I like the highlighting in even more than I like the contour in on the stick here. It's really nice. Okay, I got the Perfect Age Powder Foundation by L'Oreal and I just wanted to try it out. I picked it up in the shade 310 Nude Beige. Okay, I got some on my sponge and just for safety to see the color. Okay, there we go. 
That looks nice. Mm, that is pretty. Wow, I can tell this has a little bit of coverage with it as well. It is a foundation powder, not just like a foundation tint, but it does have a really nice coverage. So if you're into foundation powders only, this is really blurring too. It's like really soft. Wow, that is so pretty. This powder is bomb. Look, I can lightly just get some of my velvet sponge and just set everything and it is so smooth. I mean, we're gonna be a full coverage queen today. I'm gonna just say it, but this is a really nice powder. This is also a product I've enjoyed. First impressions, okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just bake my under eye a little bit and I'll be right back. For bronzer, I'm gonna just use my L'Oreal Bronze Please in 03. Now this one isn't like a specific new one and this one is a little bit shimmery and warm. So it's great for bronzing, not contouring, but it's good just to warm up the face. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this I already know I love this product. It smells divine. It smells like I'm about to go into the tropical ocean and enjoy my day. Next, I'm gonna go into this strawberry blush from Physicians Formula. It's called Strawberry Jam. And just a forewarning, the strawberries go away after the first use. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a strawberry just farted in here. Whoa, that's super pink. And now I am putting this on top of the other blush. Wow, I am blushy. This is so pigmented, but strawberries were cute for for their first run. Okay, I wanted to keep our eyes simple today because I wanted to do Siren Eyes, which is like the new, it's not even a new trend, honestly. It's just a trend and I wanted to do them today, but I did get this little palette at Ulta from uh, Essence and I'm gonna use this brown shade. My L36 brush, this is our large blender and I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid. I love this blender because it is massive. This eyeshadow is nice. It's actually not chalky at all. These little palettes are just so cute. A little minimal palette. Here are the colors in the palette. They do feel pretty good. Like I am pretty impressed with this little guy. Okay, now I wanna try the Waterproof Felt Tip Liner by Hard Candy. This is a brand at Walmart. I'm not always the best with felt tip. I, I like brush tips better. They just like work better for me, but we're gonna give it a go, okay. Now, Siren Eyes, you wanna keep the liner pretty low. All right, I'm gonna say this, it dries so shiny that it looks like I'm missing liner right here because the light is reflecting off how shiny this black eyeliner is. It is super black and it worked really well, but as far as the dry down, like it's so shiny. I hate that, I like a nice matte liner. So some pros and cons with it, depending on what you like, I just don't like you know the shine. All right guys, the trick with siren eyes is the inner corner. It's all about keeping the wing low and out and then the inner corner, you know, the point. And that's where things get difficult. All right guys, we're gonna create a point and I struggle with this, I'm not gonna lie. So here we go. We did so good, by the way. Yes, ma'am. Do you see how the siren eyes gives it a sharp, focused look? So that is our little point. We're gonna do the same thing over here and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, here goes with a telescopic lift from L'Oreal, from L'Oreal. <laughs> Okay, I thought this had two wands from the packaging, but it has this flat end and then it has this more narrow end. So you kind of get a two-sided wand, which I can see how I think this would be a great wand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, my eyeliner blocks my lashes a little bit, but holy bagoli. This is a super wet mascara, so I'm gonna warn you, it can get messy. The formula reminds me of Telescopic, if you guys have tried that. Wow. It's really sticky, so I feel like it lifts the lashes. And then this wand like separates them, kind of like the telescopic, but it is a super like wet formula. Whoa. Okay, listen, my lashes kind of suck, but at the end of the day, I gotta say, I did love this. Like I loved how it coated my lashes. My gosh. I will say this is a heavier mascara. It kind of reminds me of like either the telescopic or Too Faced Better Than Sex, like one of those really wet, heavy mascaras. But if you can see from the side here, it really coats them and thickens them up. So I could see myself using this. Now, does it transfer? We gotta figure that out. For lashes today, I'm gonna use the Pre-Primed Push-Up Lashes by Salon Perfect. These are number 671. These are some of my favorites. 
They're very wispy, but with the siren eyes, we're gonna cut some of the front off and kind of stick to the outer flared out edge on these. All right, as you can see, I've cut the lash down pretty dramatically. This is the inner corner, this is the outer. And we're gonna focus it way towards the outer of my eye and then push up over here to give us that flared out look. All right, we're gonna do this eye over here and then we're gonna lift it up at the edge so you get that flared out look. All right, let's move on to our lips. I'm gonna take off my foundation lips, which you guys are probably like, thank God. <laughs> okay, Glitter Razzi. This is a sparkly glitter lipstick and gloss that Hard Candy has come out with. And I just wanna try it real quick. I don't know if it's the color we'll land on today, but we should try it, right? Holy bagolis, look at that. Oh my God, that is really cool. This is fun, you know, this is like an iridescent lipstick, like super disco. I don't hate it, I thought I would hate this more. I don't know if it's for me, it gives me like outer space vibes, Y2K, and it's cute, but I don't know if it's for me. So let me just put the, is this eyeshadow? No, this is a crystal lip duo. Okay, here we go. So now we need to add the gloss. You know what, it's giving unicorn lips, and I don't know, this is my journey, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, you know I'm the queen of dropping things. Anyways, let's try a different lippy. First and foremost, before I do these other ones, I'm gonna put a liner on. I wanna try the Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream by NYX. This one is in the shade Latte Foam. It's, it's darker than I thought. I thought it was gonna be baby pink. Why did I think it was gonna be baby pink? This is like brown, which is pretty, but I thought it was gonna be a different color. Whenever I read it, it was called latte, I was like, why do they call this pink color latte? And now I know, now I know, because it looks like latte. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, these are like their soft matte lip creams, but I feel like they're way more pigmented than what the soft matte lip creams used to be. All right, well, you know what? I think this is really pretty. Just to show you guys, I got one more. This one's called Faux Fur. And I just wanna swatch it for ya. Ooh, Faux Fur is like a warm sienna color really pretty and then let me just show you the latte the latte is the one we're wearing i mean these are the sloppiest swatches you've ever seen in your life but it's like brown warm brown pretty and to finish we're gonna add some long lasting setting spray this is the long wear setting spray from hard candy oh that mister and this smells so good it says 12 hour wear with cucumber extract this smells divine look at do you guys see my real lashes falling though i will say that mascara is really really heavy and i don't like that it's like not keeping my real lashes up i feel like it's it's kind of wet and heavy. It's kind of pushing them down a little bit. All right, guys, this is the final drugstore siren eyes look. What do you guys think? Would you recreate this look? It's pretty simple. Pretty, I think it looks makes the eyes look really sharp and nice. Oh, I forgot to fill in my brows. Let me fill in my brows. What's going on? All right, I added some brow power. I am kind of notorious for forgetting my brows, but in real life, I don't. I think I just get so focused on filming, I'm like, forget a step. Anyways, this is the final look. What do you think? I think like the makeup base is so good. This foundation, now I might get shiny. I'll write a, a little write up in the description on, um, cause I'm gonna have this makeup on all day long. So I'll write my final thoughts in the description with the link to this. So if you're interested, you can kind of read up on how it did my skin because my skin does try to get really shiny and I don't like that. So we'll see what happens. My favorite products we tried today. Number two, the Age Perfect Powder. They're killing it with their powder game. This made my skin look so smooth and it has a ton of coverage. So very buildable, I loved it. The lip color is everything and this is like an enhanced better formula to me than their soft matte lip creams. So the Smooth Whips from NYX in Latte Foam, it's a winner baby. The C Bright Putty Primer, this vitamin C primer, more so than like the vitamin C glow aspects. I think you'd have to use it for months and months to see any benefits from that. I liked how smoothing it was on my my skin and that kind of goes with their other putty primers as well but it was really nice I'll be using it again and then these two you know it depends on how they wear I wish I could have done a wear test on this but the shades are kind of off in my opinion and maybe that's just me and I just think the shades are off and I'm like what the hell I did like the finish I like the finish a lot most of your skin tints have this dewy glowy finish like 90% of them this is interesting because it's kind of like a skin tint but it has this blurring matte soft focus finish and it's really 
lightweight. So it's a very interesting product and I loved how it blended out. And then this one, I was shocked at the price and the coverage. Really great coverage and it blended out like butter. So this was another good one. And those are my top products I tried out. Some of the other products, I'm a little more skeptical. I think it's silly that the strawberries come off this so quick, but the blush is so good. So pretty. Mascara, I'm suspect about because my lashes are starting to droop the longer I wear it because it's such a heavy mascara. But who knows, it may end up working out for me. I'm gonna have to try it a few more times, but I am scared of transferring. I will also write in the description box if it transfer. I didn't love this liner, but the felt tip was nice on it. It just, it's too shiny for me. And I thought this palette was really nice. Okay guys, that is it for my reviews on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what drugstore products you're gonna be trying next or what drugstore products you've been loving. Bye guys.